Hey guys, so what's up? It is Jakes from Pro Show TV, and this is a carry on from our last episode that we did. Um, our last episode was the glowing text. Today I'm going to be going to up the ante, and we're going to make this split text, which is a bit more of an advanced one. But I think you guys can handle it. It's pretty easy if you listen to me perfectly and copy what I do. So this is the text that we're going to be creating. Don't worry, the images and that will be in the description. All you need to do is right click the image and click the link in the description and then it will load up the image right click that image hit save image as and save it to your desktop don't have to change the name just do it like that <coughs> excuse me anyway let's hop right into this before I die <laughs> so what we want to do is we want to go up to the top and hit file and new or control N <coughs> sorry guys and then we want to name it uh, I'm going to name my creative text um, oops if I can spell there we go, and then we want to hit where it says preset, film and video, size, we want to hit HDV, 1080p, like so, and leave everything as is, hit OK, boom, there's our background colour. So now what we want to do is we want to eat quickly, just enter in our text, which I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do, but if you don't, this is the first one you're watching, uh, you're on the left hand side, you see this little T, just click that, click in the middle of your screen, there you go, type in your text that you want, I'm going to use Brochure TV as an example which is uh, my channel obviously as you guys are watching it on that so at this moment right here don't worry about this uh, little hold up let me just get rid of this quick that was the video before just finished rendering oh sorry I didn't get rid of it let's just do that do that and there you go hey, uh, right sorry about that guys um, so what we want to do we've made our text in the middle of our screen we're roughly in the middle of our screen we want to go to the right hand side here, hit background, we want to hit control A on that background and it will select the outside of the background, click back on our text and it will load up this top bit as long as your move tool, which is the top arrow here, you just want to select that again, make sure you've got that selected and this top bit will move. So you want to hit the second one and the fifth one, which is the same as what we did last time, which is like these bar chart things, just the second and the fifth and that will center your text perfectly. Then control D and it'll deselect everything and we can get right into this. So we want to resize our text because our text is a little bit too small. So you just want to select your text, make sure it's selected, hit Control T, and this will load this up. And you want to hold Shift and go to one of the corners and drag it up. And what Shift does, it keeps it in transformation, uh, which we can easily just center our text again in a second. Control T, raise that up a little bit more. There we go. Bob's your ankle, fan is your arm. Uh, hit Control A on our background. Go back to here and just center our text one more time. Second and fifth. Hit Control D. There we go. Now what we want to do is we want to go over here and create a new. Oh, so no, we don't. We want to delete that. We want to go over the right hand side where our Bro Show TV is. We want to right click that and it will load up this menu. And you should find on here near the top it says Rasterize Type. You just want to click that and what this will do. This will make it. This will allow us to cut up each individual segment and uh, this will be pretty cool so we want to go over to the left hand side where all our little icons and stuff are and we want to press the one that's called quick selection tool uh, your move tool is at the top it is one to a third one down right click make sure it's quick selection tool selected it might be a magic one just right click that and change it to quick selection and now what we want to do is we want to go to where our first letter of our thing is and simply just uh, draw your letter um, what this should do is if you draw your letter perfectly good and let go oh my bad let me just quickly control Z what I just did there what did I do there you go sorry I've got buttons on my mouse that I've programmed to this and that was my fault so we're at this moment right here my size is on 25 because my text is rather large and what we want to do is we have this selected we want to right click that and we want to hit a layer of via cut so you just want to press that and what this will do this will create this layer so you just want to double click where it says layer 1 delete that and just I'm going to call mine B uh, for obviously bro show click back on where it says bro show TV at the bottom underneath and do the second one and you want to do this to every single one of your letters Oops. Uh, like so and then right click layer via cut and change that to R so there we go we're at this um, I'm going to speed this up guys and I'll be back when it's done
Okay guys, so now we've done that. Um, so you should have every single one of your things over on the right hand side. Each one of these should be an individual layer. So if we untick the B one, the B will disappear. If we untick the R, R will disappear. O, O will disappear. S, S will disappear. Uh, H, H will disappear. Uh, o, the other, well in my case O again, which will deselect that. W will deselect W. T and T and V and V. If we untick the background letter, so this whole background doesn't disappear, which is what we need. We, um, yeah, there we go. So at this stage right now, and uh, so obviously we need to start splitting these text icons up and making them look nice and sexual. So what we want to do for this is um, click your first one, so obviously mine's B, and it's a kind of an eyeballing game. You can be professional, make like a line first, and then use your lines that each one of exactly the same but for tutorial purposes I'm not going to do that but it's pretty simple if you want to do it that way so what we're going to do is we're going to have to make sure our B selected first oh god we've got to make sure our B selected or in your case your first letter of your word should be selected we're going to go over to the left hand side of our screen over here and we're going to find where this little like fountain pen is which is just above your text one so we've got this selected now and we're looking like, oh, okay, so this just makes a few lines that look pretty sick. Okay, so what do I meant to do with this? Uh, so what you need to do with this is, um, so on your first letter, you need to click a point on the floor that you like. So I'm going to select there. And you're going to select just above it. Well, like so. So you make like a nice diagonal line like so. Um, and because we want to cut the right hand side of the text off, uh, which is this side, so you want to cut this side, so we're going to bring it round and just cut down like so, just keep clicking move your mouse and click and this will select it like so and make sure you rejoin your points back up here and then after you've done this you just want to right click, hit make selection uh, and your setting should be like this hit OK and this will make the selection like this and then simply boom, hit delete button oh no, where did it go? exactly so now that makes like a nice little angle like so and we're going to click our second letter and we're going to hit control T on that and hold shift and move it to the left hand side holding shift just make sure that it doesn't go out of proportion and it stays in the same way so we're like this is like oh man what am I meant to do now so what I need to do is simply just make a selection again there and one up about here I'm going to go and then just make a selection round, click that, right click, make a selection, OK, delete. There we go, so we have our second letter done now. So hit Control D to deselect that perfectly. And then hit Control T and just move it over a bit so you can see that you've got the B and the R, in my case, sorted like so. Oh, whoopsie, I keep doing that. I've got to learn not to do that. And that's what we're at right now. So you want to click your third letter and you want to do the same thing. So I'm going to, because it's like this, um, I want to cut the left hand side of my letter off, but I don't want to make it too much. So I'm just going to do a little selection like so. Sorry about that noise guys. Right click, make selection, hit OK. And we're at this stage right now and then hit delete again and hit Control D to deselect. As long as you've got your O selected, hit Control T, hold Shift and move that bad boy over like so, hit enter, oh that looks pretty cool control T again move it over, Using I'm using my arrows this time to make a bit more of a uh, close cut if you want to put it that way so we have that like so and this just looks pretty cool now, what you can also do to this O I'm pretty sure is you just cut out I'm going to cut out the other side as well and I'm just going to experiment with it, I don't know how well this is going to look but let's have a go shall we so hit that like that and we've got a nice little cool O going on so we're going to hit control D uh, S. Uh, actually no I don't like that so I'm going to put that back in and I'm actually going to change my letter completely my, well, how I'm editing back so far is I'm hitting Control Alt and Z obviously you can easily change yours um, like so and I'm going to actually cut the right hand side of this text off instead so it flows with the S instead of the R and we're just going to do the same thing as always hit that, Control that uh, sorry, right click, make selection enter control D to deselect hit arrow button control T I'm going to hold the left arrow off just find it easier hit enter when you got it in a nice little place and then select your S the one underneath it and make the same 
selection as what you just did right click make selection ok delete control D click the S again control T move it over your arrows like so so this is nice and sweet like so oh whoops so I think that looks pretty cool I'm gonna hit enter there I want to catch up with you guys when I've got air how TV <laughs> I want to catch up with you guys when I've got every single one cut out nice and proper just carry on going through all of them all of them should be the same just make an experiment in your own ways obviously graphics design is all about yourself and I'll be back when I'll be uh, sorry it will be unsped up when I'm finished Hey guys what's up I'm back so now you've made all your selections nice and good for this so what we want to do now is we want to click the B on the top hold control click the V at the bottom oh sorry no I'm gonna click B at the top hold shift click the uh, V at the bottom uh, and you want to press control T that's your highlight it all and then move it roughly in the middle right, okay so now okay that's good hit enter after you've done that click on your background control A it will select your background, click the B, hold shift down to there, go to your move tool, second and fifth. Oh, whoops. Nope, don't want to do that. Don't do that. Don't listen to me. I messed up. Guys, don't listen to me. <laughs> so now we've done this, uh, I've arranged my text so it looks nice. Uh, actually, I don't like the way I have done the. Uh, the R and that are too close, so I'm just going to move those over, and then uh, I think now I'm going to move the O over a bit more. So as you can see, guys, what I'm doing is I'm selecting the one I want to move, which now I'm going to select the S. Go down to the bottom, hold shift down to the bottom one, which is my last letter, is the V. Click that, hit Control T, and it will move it into the same ratio as all the others. H, hold shift V, Control T, move it over. O, hold shift V, Control T. There we go, like so. W, hold shift uh, V control T like so T and V and like so and just the V itself and space them out a little bit more so now it looks pretty good we're at this stage but now what we want to do is we want to add in a texture of each one which is um which is kind of the hardest stage so what you want to do is you want to download the um, pictures I've got in the description so I'm just going to go back to here I'm going to find um, right, my graphics work. Oops, uh, there it is. So you want to go here, and you want this cloth texture. It's just the first one, and you load it up. It's not really a cloth, but it looks pretty cool. So you want to click your selection tool, which is the one underneath your move one. Hold it in the top left corner, drag down to the bottom right, and there we go. Hit Control C. And when you've got the selection made, go back to your texture you're creating. Hit Control V. Um, like so and then hit control T and you want to press also control and zero and this will zoom it out okay and then what you want it to do is you just want to move the text uh, sorry not move the text move the background hold shift close it all in so it looks good it won't always fit just want to make it so it fits nice and snug around that hit enter so there you go and then hit control zero again and it will zoom it back in for you so we're at this stage now and uh, obviously our V is not showing because our text is there so what you want to do is you want to click the layer one which is the text uh, sorry not the text the background you entered in and you just want to drag that down to underneath your thing so it's just above your background and then when it's like that you just want to click your background tool and you just want to double click it like so and hit OK and that will untick it like so. Click the layer one, hit control I. Oh no, wait, is that control? No, control. Hold up guys. Nope. Sorry guys, I'm having a bit of a derpy moment right now. 
Ah, there you go. So when you got the, you want to hold. Uh, so let's quickly just undo what I just did there. Like so. So what you want to do is you want to click the layer one, hold shift and the layer zero, which is your background, uh, your two backgrounds. Right click them, hit merge layers. Like so, and that'll just make that one background. And then I'm just going to whack a padlock back on that so I know it don't move. Um, I don't need a... Uh, um, now we can delete this brochure TV. We don't we don't need our original text. We can just get rid of that. And then now we've got, only got these. So what you want to do is you want to now go and open up the second one. So hit file, open, find the cosmos, um, which is the second, which is the crazy stars. It's right in here, you don't want it in it, so we're going to sort something out. Select the whole thing. Again, control C, back to your original text, control V, and then control T, and just make sure you resize that so it fits your whole text in. Now you want, what you want to do is you want to bring it up to the top. You want to right click it and hit create clip masking. Oh, sorry guys, that was my fault. So you want to click the B. So if you've done that, hit Control Control Z, and I'll bring it back to this stage. You want to hit the B, which is your first, and hold Shift and click your last one like so. And you want to right-click that and make merge layers. So they're all created into one, and like so. And now you want to click that. Now you want to go back to your layer two, which is this cool little thing that we got here. Right-click that and hit. Um, create clip mask clip in mask so you click that like so boom there we go so if you hit control T you have it still you see it's in the background so you just move it about uh, resize it make it however you want to I think that looks pretty cool so I'm gonna leave it like that uh, and you want to merge that as well there you go so you only have two simple ones and then I'm going to merge also, I'm going to go to my background, untick that of the padlock, merge that down as well, so all of them, so boom, everything's now that one base layer. So that was a simple, well not simple, that was a bit of a uh, in-depth tutorial on how to make this creative text type thing. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching, uh, don't forget to rate, comment, like and subscribe and as always... Stay beautiful. Tab out.